Good evening everyone and welcome to Evening Prayer on behalf of Stamford Methodist Circuit. So let us pray. Be swift, O God, to save us. Come quickly, Lord, to help us. May my prayer be like incense set before you, and the lifting up of my hands like the evening offering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And let's keep a moment of silence as we are in the presence of God and ask him to shine his light and reveal to us those things which we need to bring to him for his forgiveness and healing. So let us confess our sins to God. O oh God, we confess the things we try to hide from you. The things we try to hide from others. The things we try to hide from ourselves. We confess the worry and the heartbreak that we have caused others and the things we've said and done which have made it hard for them to forgive us. We confess the times we've made it easy for others to go wrong. We confess the harm we've done and cannot undo, making it hard for us to forgive ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us and renew us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. And the collect for today Almighty and merciful God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts, so that when we turn to you and confess our sins, we may receive your full and perfect forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm for today is Psalm 86 verses 1 to 13. <clears throat> Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O, God, o Lord, that I may walk in your truth. 
Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me. You have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. Alleluia. And our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, and verses 28 to 36. Now, about eight days after these sayings, Jesus, after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly, they saw two men, Moses and Elijah talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep, but since they'd stayed awake they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it's good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. Thanks be to God for his word. The readings that we've been having this week have often alluded to this passage, to this account of this event, when they were on the mountain with Jesus and he was transfigured, or in Greek, literally, the original Greek, metamorphosed, like a caterpillar is transformed in a totally different form to a butterfly. And they saw the light of the glory of God shining and they entered the cloud. These things go back all the way through the scriptures. To the beginning of the covenant God made with Abraham, when Abraham in the darkness sees what appears as a flaming torch passing between the parts of the sacrifices that he's made and God speaks his covenant, a promise to him and all generations from him forever, to make him a blessing for all the nations. Another time when Moses and the Israelites are leaving Egypt, at last God has overcome the forces that have held them captive. And as they go, the pillar of cloud by day and fire by night shows them the way and protects them for all the following 40 years until they enter the promised land. When Solomon dedicates the temple to God in Jerusalem, it's filled with this cloud of the glory of God, so much so they can't even see what's going on inside it. It's there when the angels appear to the shepherds announcing the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem. This cloud, this great shining festal cloud of the saints and the angels of God praising him. 
and it's there at Pentecost when it comes, divided into individual what appear to be tongues of fire coming to rest upon each disciple. And the presence of the glory of God, the Holy Spirit, comes to rest upon each believer in Jesus. He comes to dwell in us as we open ourselves to his glory and his presence. His light shines in us if we will stop hiding and let him shine in every part of our life, especially those that seem the darkest. Amen. So in our prayers from the prayer handbook today, we begin with a prayer by Francois Fenelon, who died in 1715. Let us pray. In our weakness, O Christ, let us trust your strength. In our darkness, let us see your light. In our doubt, let us feel your presence. And in our despair, let us cling to your cross for your truth and your mercy's sake. Amen. And today we're invited to pray with the Christians of China and Hong Kong. We thank you, Lord, for the continuing growth of the Methodist International Church at Hong Kong during these difficult times. And we pray for members of the church who have been on the front line of political protests, putting themselves between protesters and police. We pray for church leaders as they seek to speak with and advise the government. And we also pray for the church in China, which faces increasing restrictions on ministry to people under the age of 18, and for its pastors and lay leaders who, despite facing such restrictions and intimidation, are confident that faith will flourish. Lord, grant them your wisdom and guide and lead them into the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we're invited to pray with the Newcastle upon Tyne district of the Methodist Church of Great Britain. So we give thanks to you, Lord, for the Newcastle upon Tyne district's new community engagement enabler and district together worker. And we pray for the great work at Halt Whistle among those at the margins of society. We pray for the many people involved in different recovery groups, Alcoholics Anonymous, Gamblers Anonymous, across the district. May all learn from their humility and honesty. We pray for children, young people and those who work with them that their gifts and graces be nurtured and released to grow your kingdom. Lord, help us to meet you in worship and to be transformed by your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so with all God's people in heaven and on earth, we join together in saying the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen
So the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.